moving on ahead, since this is part two, we get the final match of the night, which is Eddie Guerrero versus Charlie Hayes. So, you got Eddie Guerrero, who is at singles and tag team competition. You got Charlie Hayes, who's basically only known for tag team. He's in the world's greatest tag team with Shelton Benjamin. And here you see him take a single role, and you got to enjoy his heel persona right here. I mean, he jumps Ray in the beginning of the match, before the bell rings, before he even gets to the ring. And then he throws him in, the ref just starts the match. And this fight is going... This fight is like a lot of good spots, a lot of good wrestling. And ultimately, I'm trying to remember who wins since I saw this match last night, a Wednesday night. And hmm, who wins it? I hate when my brain goes blank and shit like that. Well, regardless, it's a good fucking match and. It, it's just, it was a fucking awesome ass match. I don't remember the outcome, yet I do know that I was enjoying the match. I was watching it, I, I was not taking my eyes off the screen, unlike Raw, where we're in SmackDown the day, where I might even. Before I would get pissed when my little bro was on the fucking. MacBook and talking and shit with bright LED lights rising up from the MacBook while bright LED lights were going to my face from the TV and I'm like, come on, you gotta do one and stop fucking talking unless you have something funny to say and you're not funny, so please shut the fuck up. But here, but now I can like understand and justify it. Why focus on what's happening on TV when this shit was so much more interesting? And keep in mind, this isn't a big SmackDown. This isn't like a worthwhile one for a time. This isn't like a thing where a lot of shit is happening. But it is one where you're getting a lot of fucking good spots, good storylines. A lot of good uh, booking and things of that nature. And I've skipped some stuff from SmackDown, I skipped some like promos, some backstage shit, cause I didn't want to. I just wanted to focus on the matches, the opening, and the closing. Getting the closing, they're starting this ceremony for Lesnar all over again, and this time Lesnar is here. Now Kurt Angle doesn't show up. Kurt Angle doesn't fucking show up. He's probably he's probably fucking Cena up in a hotel room somewhere. Giving him some dirty Sanchez's and things of that nature. He's not really, he's not going to show up to closing. He wanted to deal with Lesnar, but right now he's more interested in Cena. Which one that's who he's going to face. <clears throat> going back, uh, Lesnar's all proud and shit, all touched. Like, I thank you so much for bringing back the real Brock Lesnar, Vince, uh. Vince is like, all right, you're the, you're the real Brock Lesnar. You have that aggression. You have that drive. All right, dear, take the fucking title. And then fucking Undertaker shows up, and this is where it gets cool. Undertaker's like, all right, man, you're going to face me in no mercy. You better realize that. So I'm thinking, damn, Lesnar versus Undertaker, that feud all over again? Hold up. It's got to be good. Yet I realized at the same time, because I know what happens to Undertaker at Survivor Series 03. He probably doesn't fucking win the title, but I'm just glad to see that they reignited a feud, which was really cool. And yeah, that was a really bloody match back in 02. <clears throat> and basically, Lesnar and Vince are like, okay, who gave you the power to fucking... Uh, Fucking decide that shit. Me? No. But then Stephanie McMahon shows up and she's all. No, I really gotta. I approve of this match. I think they should fight. 
And I decided that they should fight at No Mercy. She, like, booked it already. And Vince is like, alright, if you continue through with this, there's gonna be another match. It's gonna be you versus me. And, damn. I mean, I actually like Stephanie McMahon as a fucking face. To me, her as a fucking heel, it, it, it she just confuses me. I mean, she's got that evil look in her eye when she's heel, or when she's face. She doesn't seem like a spoiled bitch. She actually seems like someone that is a good person. But that's like the face-heel dynamic. You're supposed to like the face more than the heel. So it makes sense that she's going to act like a bitch when she's heel, and she's going to act like a legit, real strong woman when she's face. A real strong woman. But she says, no, I'm going to keep making my decision. If we're going to have to face off, so be it. And I just take her at this point. He's like looking at Stephanie like, are you really going to go through with this? But then Vince is like, hot shit, nigga. And he, he's about to, he fakes like like he's going to swing at her. Undertaker stops it. Brock Lesnar comes in, fucking decks the shit out of Undertaker. They start stomping the shit out of him, the both of them. And... Oh no, it was really fucking interesting. Think about this. We got how many title matches? Three on a SmackDown. And it wasn't that big of a fucking SmackDown. It wasn't that fucking epic. But we got three title matches. If we try that now, it lower the value of a title match. But over there, it had to happen because you had to see these matches. These were some good ass matches. Mysterio versus Tajiri. Fucking Los Guerreros versus Matt Hardy and Shannon Moore. I actually like Matt Hardy's entrance. Something I didn't realize before. When you're just typing the login thing for Matt Hardy or the web search for him. And then his theme plays and the Titan Tron shit. That's really fucking cool. I think that's badass. I'm speaking really fast because I just fucking... I just like my, Matt Hardy and his character. I'm a big... I'm starting to like the Hardys more. I mean, earlier this year, and when I started going back to wrestling in the 2010s, I thought, what's the big deal about the Hardys? What's so cool about them? Uh, they're really cool. They're really entertaining. I'm more into them now than I was before, and way more. Shannon Moore, Cruiserweights, all, all this good shit. And the only match that wasn't a title match, and it was like the, it was like that tag team match, which I wasn't really, I wasn't digging that match, as much as I was digging everything else, because it was like matches between people I want to see fight. I don't really care about the Bashman Brothers. It's just how it is. So all in all, I really fucking like this thing. I'm gonna continue making videos like this. Until, because I never reviewed a go home show for Raw and Survivor Series before Survivor Series. I could have, but I didn't, and I don't regret not doing it. So I'm just gonna close it off right now. This is Mr. Wonka Seven, and as I promised last video, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. Suck my dick.